What is up everybody, Dan Dan the Fireman here and I want to make you a safer rider. So we're gonna go over friction, zone and clutch control and kind of how to set it up without even having to go out for a long ride. We're in a parking lot and we're practicing this here. So you can actually practice it in your driveway, you can practice it in a parking lot, you can do a bunch of stuff in a parking lot. So we're gonna be working on that. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the friction zone is the space in between pulling too much clutch, which removes all power from the rear wheel, and not pulling it at all, which will allow all power to the rear wheel. The friction zone is a special little sweet spot, the Goldilocks zone, where you are giving just enough power to the rear wheel to get yourself moving. When you do that, that's when you can start shifting. But that is a whole other game. We'll go and talk about shifting in a later video. But right here, let's just practice the friction zone. So first off, I highly recommend practicing with gloves. Okay, you're not gonna go riding without gloves, and if you do, you need to get yourself a pair of gloves. So if you're gonna be practicing, practice like you play. When you play, you have gloves. Now, we're not gonna go for a massive ride. We're not even gonna do anything crazy, so I don't need a helmet and everything. But if you are gonna go for a ride, if you are gonna decide to do something, please have full gear. So first off, we need to turn on the bike and we're gonna make sure it's in neutral. I talked about the instrument panel in a previous video, so we can go ahead and if you don't know how to do that, check that video. But we're gonna make sure it's in neutral, make sure the kill switch is on, and here we go. Okay, so the friction zone, it doesn't move. The bike will not move in neutral. So basically what happens is that you completely took the bike out of gear in neutral. There's no gears touching, so it's not gonna move. So you can't, you can't move even if you use the throttle when it's in neutral. So what we have to do is actually pull it all the way, put it in first. Now, if I just let go, it's gonna stall just like that. That is when you let go too quick. You didn't allow it to get into the friction zone and maintain the friction zone while giving a little bit of throttle. Once again, we'll get into shifting a little bit later, but let's go ahead and talk about this. Let's go ahead and pull it in. And that's how you fix it. You pull it back in or shift it neutral and start the bike back up. So the friction zone, I'll go ahead and try to just do it like this so you can see the full zone. The friction zone is right there on this bike. Every bike is a little different. So what I recommend is you get on the bike, you start off the bike, you sit there, you have your gloves, and don't try to go for a ride. You're literally just going here, just like this, until it starts moving. Put both feet down. until it starts moving. And when I say it starts moving, I mean the bike. That right here is you start giving the bike a little bit of power. Don't give it a lot and just move your bike. You move your feet, see my legs? That's all I'm doing, okay? Letting it in the friction zone and that's it. That's all I'm doing. That's all you need to do to, to figure out where the friction zone is. Now, if I let it go nice and slow, and slower and slower and slower until I left, leave it all the way open, I'll go ahead and get going. But I'm not gonna do that, I don't have my helmet on. Thanks. All right, so we got all of our stuff on because I kinda wanna show you how it works when you let it go fully. Because once you let it go fully, when you do it nice and slow, you're gonna start moving. All right, so here we go. We're gonna turn it, turn this on, put the kickstand up, because sometimes the kickstand will kill it. It's like another kill switch. Pull in the shifter because once I start it in first gear, it's gonna to wanna to take off, just like this. It's gonna to wanna to do that if you start it up. And sometimes you can't even start it up. It won't start up in first gear, unless I hold it. Okay, so this is what happens. Let's go ahead and move back a little bit. So when you pull the clutch in all the way, you remove all power to the rear wheel. When you do that, you're able to move it back and forth like it's in neutral. So we're gonna let it go nice and smooth. No gas, no gas. If I let it go nice and smooth, you should be able to idle just a little bit. Now, when you make turns, you slow down a little bit. Right now, it's fully on, so it has enough power in the rear wheel to do stuff. Now, sometimes if you're on a hill, you're gonna have to play around with the friction zone. So right here, I have it in the friction zone. So it removes power to the rear wheel, give it a little bit. Removes power to the rear wheel, give it a little bit. So let's get back over here. All right, so that's what you do to figure out the friction zone. You don't have to take off. You could just literally stay here all day. Okay. And go ahead and get back. Okay. It's as simple as that. Playing with the clutch, playing with the shift lever, 
and figuring everything out. You have to be in first gear to, to apply some friction zone, but that's all you really have to do. So if you want to see more of this stuff, especially when I talk about the instrument gauges, let's turn that off. The instrument gauges, uh, check out my other video. I'm going to have it up here. And uh, we're going to do a whole new beginner series. So if you're brand new, please click that subscribe button. You're not going to regret it. All right. I can make something out of that.